Greetings friends, welcome back. I'm Fwop and this is my Legacy of the Void playthrough. We are about to assault the uh, not Death Star. We have broken the stasis field and the purifiers are ours to crack open and welcome them into intergalactic society once again after having exiled them for being unruly servants. Or something like that. I assume your plan is to bind these robotic warriors to your will. They will be allowed their freedom, much like Phoenix. Making slaves of them is what led to their revolt before. Oh, this foolish idealism taxes my patience. Idealism? They are the replications of our greatest champions. Was it so different when we gave your people freedom by breaking them away from Malash's grip? only to deliver them to mine. I could not allow my people to be guided by Amon's lies any further, but make no mistake. They are not free. Freedom is a delusion granted to the weak by the strong. You speak as Amon does. For the sake of your life, that will change. Instill the Phoenix Machine as the new executor of the Purifiers and use them as the tools of destruction they were built to be. Alright, well, obviously, some people have strong opinions about how the they should grid down, function. The Zerg have begun infesting the surface of Cybros. We do not have long if we wish to save the purifiers. Your Templar are ready, Hierarch. Give the word, and it shall be reclaimed. All right, so <clears throat> our goal is to complete this mission without allowing the Purifier Core Matrix to lose all of its shields. Don't tase me, Cybros. And activate two Purifier forces within 60 seconds of each other. Sure. This doesn't really tell me much about this mission at all. Let's go to the War Council. Why was Endion chosen as the world Cybros was to orbit? For thousands of years, it has been a research retreat. Here, Doesn't that sound Kutos nice? scholars secluded themselves from political affairs to focus on the task of devising technology that would benefit the Empire. The Psi Matrix was first conceived here. When it was decided that the purifiers would be shut down, they became a symbol of achievement, but also the dangers of it. So they were brought to a research colony. Where better than a place where our greatest scientists resided, constantly improving Cybros's stasis field. And how many resided on the world below? 800,000 Kalai, a contingent of Templar. I only hope their deaths were swift. <sighs> All right. We have on that a new robotic siege technology hierarch. Please make your selection. Alright, Robotic Siege ones, we got the Reaver and the Colossus. Talk to me, Reaver, what are you up to? What? <laughs> wow. The sheer amount of extra damage this could deal is insane. <clears throat> Reavers, though. Wow, the Reavers are undoubtedly awesome. They don't have the death ball in this, and they will get trapped behind enemies, so I think the Colossus is the way to go here. Uh, anyone else? The legendary Arbiter vessels have been reconstructed due to our great need. They can be deployed at your discretion. Okay, so we can take 
arbiters instead of Well, let's see. I mean, Arbiters are fantastic spellcasters, but I'm going to stick with the Destroyers. The Ascendant, huh? I didn't get a chance to use them properly. See the scatter cannon action against the Zerg. Where shall we march? I have returned. Dragoons. I'm liking the dragoons and I'm just going for a nice big death volley force. Alright. I'm satisfied. I'm enjoying this playstyle. Your plan worked, Kerax. The stasis grid is down. We must act now. If we can bring Cybros online, the battle station should begin to defend itself. And the purifiers? They have lain dormant for millennia. They may still harbor anger towards us. If they turn on us, we will have to fight. We failed them before, not understanding what it was we had birthed. These personalities may be replications, but they are alive. After spending so much time with Phoenix, I share your belief. Cybros will not be able to resist the Zerg for long. We should move quickly if we hope to save the purifiers. I require your honest counsel, All right, Phoenix. let's do it. Do you believe the purifiers will join us? I do not know. They may harbor rage. Resentment for the actions of our forebears. The Daylom is not the Conclave. We are united in purpose like never before. And that is why the Purifiers must be allowed to choose their fate for themselves. Without freedom, a people can be controlled, but never united. This is true, and yet... The firstborn have ill need of another enemy. And I believe in you to not create one. Your actions determine the future for both the Templar and the Purifiers. No pressure, but though. now is the time to act, Hierarch. You are right. The way forward may be difficult, but it is necessary. All right. Thank you, my friend. All right. You heard him. We're going to be taking Phoenix Reconstruction Beam and Orbital Assimilator with the starting supply boost. Alarak. Okay, let us not forget 
We don't want the core matrix to lose its shields, and we need to activate two purifier forces within one minute of each other. So our focus is going to be on using mechanical units to take advantage of the heal beams from the Spear of a Dune. The, uh, the new Colossi will be incredibly good, and we should uh, make sure to back them up. Another good reason to take the Dragoons is they're mechanical and the toughest. So we need to work towards the Cyber Core and... Yeah. Mineral should be our big gateway here. As we did select orbital assimilators, which will make our um, Vespine needs very easy to match. These Zerg are truly as tenacious as the Archives claim. Their infestation already spreads across the surface. And Amon's hybrid has begun fortifying. We must hope for the aid of the oh. purifiers to win this battle. Indeed. According to the station schematics, Cybros's power architecture is divided into four distinct quadrants. Each is sealed by three null circuits. Destroying all of the circuits in a quadrant should restore its power, activating at least some of the purifiers. Okay, one minute. We will need to keep a watchful eye upon the core matrix. If the Zerg destroy it, Cybos follows as well. So we start early and take advantage of that free assimilation -ness. All right. Artanis, there are unpowered cannons placed near the core matrix. With enough fortification, this would be a defensible position. There are some cannons down here. So we have to protect that while we strike out and trigger fine. get these probes up oh look our sentinels are mechanical units well isn't that convenient Low gas or low mineral. I want this to come in. A 
A Zerg force is preparing to move on the core matrix. Warriors, defend the core! Dragoons mixed with those, uh, what are they called? Havocs are awesome. And our energy is about to fill up. We're going to produce some Colossus soon. We should head out and destroy the null circuits. The purifiers will attack the Zerg and slow their attacks upon the core. memory lattice has grown irreversibly unstable. We should disable it. At least we can put its solar light to use. Boosting out these guys. And we've got this one in tow. We're about at full energy. Eventually, it's working. The purifiers are activating. I am Executor Polarian. I address the leader of the Firstborn. Executor Polarian, your deeds are taught to all Templar, even to this day. Seize your adoration. <laughs> Why do you seek the purifiers? Brothers. You were created to protect the Empire, yet we did not treat you as you deserved, as true Templar. I implore you to forgive our ancestors' mistakes, to take up your ancient charge once more, and join us as equals. Pretty sick color scheme, really. We will see if you speak truth. 
you will aid us in purifying this alien threat. Only then shall we discuss this further. Sentinels, advance upon the alien stronghold. Purify the invaders. Okay, we want to pick up all these mineral cities. The Zerg are attacking from the northeast. They're trying to break through our nexus point. Firstborn, I remember. Betrayal. Death. Unacceptable. not have what it takes to take this thing out. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Noted. The core matrix is under attack. It must not fall. It's under attack. What? Oh. Purifier is doing their thing. Okay, so let's take that down to one and head out over here. That thing. Seventy more. that thing.
Okay, perhaps there are things up here. circuits is located here no circuits destroyed station at half power come on guys Power. There we are. Base is under attack. Brothers, our time has come. Eliminate the alien bioforms with extreme prejudice. Let's march with them. Oh, that's bad news. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. kept up with my upgrades. Yeah. 
Okay, and these things will be healed up. Alright, and now it's time to finish this off. I believe we accomplished our objectives here. These firewalls are ridiculous. healing beam is just ridiculous. This lets us barrel through here. I don't even know if any of these sentinels are on cooldown right now. is awakening. Hierarch, Cybros has reached full power. The purifiers are cleansing the station of the Zerg. Fight on, brothers. Slaughter them to the last. Wait. I've been disconnected from Cybros' systems. The core is activated. It's going to fire. Lauren, what are you... Commencing purification. Alright. Sounds ominous, right? It couldn't be a death beam coming from... ...that large space station. Cybros. Death Star number three. Oh, that's 
Cybers is getting serious. Jesus, guys, how many? There's over. not that many habitable planets in <laughs> in the universe. At least nice habitable. Do we will really want to rock them all? All right. Wow, so many achievements. Uh, I know it. what. <laughs> okay. We went way overboard, and we were rewarded. I guess we got everything here. Um, we'll see what uh, what goodness awaits us in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, until next time, do as I say, not as I do.